Uh, I know we have I a question. Back too. Okay, we got a question here, you got a question in the back. Whoever's got a microphone first, I guess. Hi, my name's Ben, and uh, I saw how well the D&D event went off. And I was wondering if there had been any thoughts of trying to turn that into a charity event. Sure. I guess it's possible. Uh, yeah, we're we uh, we're so thrilled and, and just warmed by the response to the Puerto Rico. Eighty thousand dollars. Eighty thousand dollars, which includes uh, every almost every dollar of the forty thousand raised for the campaign is matched, and that I think that would be a neat way to do it. So yep. yeah, please put that in the survey. And the uh, the D and D event, all, all credit goes out to Jen Ellis and Keith Baker and Together Studios, who have been in charge of all of our tabletop gaming events. They really put all of the, uh, to my knowledge, they did the lion's share of the, the organizing and the putting together of that and the response to, I mean, you know, we did, they, they knew they wanted to do, you know, let's just have a nice large scale TND event, but it overwhelmed all of our and their expectations as to the scale of it from the number. They got, I was told this, they had 70 DMs express initial interest on the first call, no doubt. They had 69 of them show up and confirm, and that retention rate is incredible. And all of a sudden, we had all these extra spaces, and everybody just filled it. Um, so now that we know we have this toy to play with, so to speak, we love to do things like find a charitable angle for it. Yeah, that's a good example of how something when something that we try goes really well. That's one of the things we'll talk about. Is all right, what do we, you know? What do we do next with this thing? How do we how do we use this thing? How do we make it better? How, you know. How do we create more space for it, or, or things like it, or you know, it's, so it's always helpful when these things bubble up and then we get a chance to say, oh boy, what do we do that? And we've talked about this some in our long-term ambition, setting up some sort of foundation, something, some sort of ongoing effort. And we had a taste of it this year. It's actually very difficult to run charity events, and we ended up doing it the way we did this year because it was simply what we could do. At, and so that's what we would have to navigate around. We originally been hoping to have more extensive tie-ins and um, silent options, those sort of things. But just legally and tax-wise, there are a lot of complicated uh, aspects to running charity events. Yeah. Yeah, and the same goes for running them on board. That can be that can be more challenging than it seems. It seems like you just swipe your stadium card. Um, but yeah, making sure that the accounting works and that. Um, and everyone gets their file on C3 receipts, etc. But I love the core idea of yeah. finding a way to make that, that kind of event charity. Yeah, and operational hurdles are not to say not possible, it's just that it actually takes quite a good deal of lead time, and this is something that we're we're becoming more familiar with as, as we plan to incorporate philanthropy into our ongoing uh, operations.